Hi guys, Todd here. Just in the door from work and uh, I thought I'd come out and rattle off a review and uh, I'm going to rattle off a review on something that I took to work today. Uh, I've been vaping with this quite a bit. Um, now this has been reviewed by a few folk already but this is going to be my little spin on it and this is for the Hades. It's a beastie. It's just a beast. Uh, this takes two six six fifty batteries, the big chunky ones, and uh, it's a big chunky mod. I've got a Hermes V two sitting on top with uh, I don't actually know where I got the drip tip from, but I'm using this drip tip because it just makes it a bit kind of looks better. Um, have a vape. Right, put my vape in there. Wait for it. There it is. Uh, this is Digby's Apple and Cinnamon. Thank you once again. Uh, he sent this on to me. I didn't ask him to, but uh, you know, he sent me some Apple and Cinnamon, and it's Apple and Cinnamon. Um, think of uh, apple pie with a lot of cinnamon on top that's basically what it is uh, really really nice um, I would happily vape this on have been vaping this all day anyway this is not about Digby's uh, this is about the Hades now this was sent on to me by the guys at UK e-cig store this is made by Futon or Fut Futun or however you want to say it uh, <laughs> I think we'll just sum this review up. It's a big beastie. It's a big beastie. Um, I think we'll just, rather than me havering on as usual, uh, we'll just go in for the close-ups and show you this in more detail. Here we go. Now it comes in this uh, bit of gear, which most of Futon's gear seems to be coming in now. Uh, or all the stuff from uh, Profit Vape. Or is it Vape Profit? I can never remember. Anyway, um, so this is what it comes in. And here is the mod. Uh, excuse the, the fingerprints and the fact that it's not bling shiny shiny. Uh, because I have been using it and uh, I've literally just taken it out of my pocket just to show you what it looks like after a bit of use. Now this is 28 millimeters in diameter here and you're looking at down at this portion here, sorry, 31 millimeters in diameter. Overall length is 96.5 millimeters. So let's start down here. Let's take the, the battery cap off and I'll get the battery out. You can see the vents that run around the base. You can see that it've actually it's got venting there. You can see the the big bruiser of a battery in there and here is the switch now you have to excuse the scratch there but uh, uh, my finger slipped when I was tightening it up and uh, oops uh, now as far as the switch goes let's start with the, the logo in the bottom the logo in the bottom is lovely however this finish round here is not very good, I have to say. The, you know, the, the way it's been etched or engraved on here, this is wearing off and it was a bit, it wasn't exactly the best to begin with. If you actually look on the website, UK eSig store, you'll see, you know, what it should look like and this was a bit tatty. Uh, so I, I'm not 100% happy with that at all. I think, you know, this costs £170. Uh, you know the these bit this should be completely grey and just show the logo but you can see that it's pretty grim uh, so I'm disappointed in that locking ring reverse threaded the locking ring is just a joy to use this is 316 stainless steel this mod uh, you know as well most of futon stuff comes in 316 
cannot fault the locking ring at all. It's actually, it's just a joy to use. The switch itself, we have this Delrin piece running around here, and as standard, I do believe it comes with a spring in the switch, and it's it is stiff. It's a stiff spring, um, but it also comes with magnets. Now, from what I've heard, the magnets make the switch even stiffer, and a lot of people have been boiling the magnets. You know, putting it in some boiling water for a few minutes and that takes some of the tension out, uh, or the resistance out, but uh, I think what we'll do just now is we shall try and change the spring over for the magnets. So I'm just going to get my needle nose pliers in here, stick it in there like so, and just hold in the base, spin away, this comes out, and this is going to be silver plated brass or copper, I'm not sure which. Sorry, it's brass. <laughs> I've just, just read that there on the web page. Silver plated brass. Look at the size of that spring. It's a beast. Right. This is the bit I hate. Take my magnets. Slide them apart. Because they're stuck together. Turn one over. And that way you're going to get a resistance now. Put that in there. That's going to live in there, like so. <laughs> it's starting already. <laughs> this is just... See that? The volume of... Right, let's try that again. There's the resistance. Doink. I'm just going to set up there like that. Try to keep my finger in it this time. Keep them pinned. And there we go. That's it, pinned together. Right, and we just screw this back in. Now, I have found that uh, you do have to tighten this up. I wouldn't tighten it up just by fingers. I would get a pair of pliers and give it that extra little tighten up. If you don't, uh, I have found that the button this does unscrew if you don't nip it up with a pair of pliers. Oh here, that's actually... That's okay. Well, that's quite nice. Sorry. Sorry. It's a nice switch. Nice action on it. Right. So we'll pop this on here. You can see that we have serial number there. I was feeling guilty there, so I gave it a quick polish. Well, I didn't. I just rubbed it with some toilet paper uh, but uh, you can see how shiny it comes up it has got a great finish on it uh, so then we have just a plain tube coming up here we then have the top cap we have air slots cut in round here and this just unscrews like so should point out that the battery will not go down that way you have to put the battery in from the bottom not from the top we have a uh, this piece here for taking the rattle out of your batteries works a treat. The, the pin in here is a floater, uh, so as you, you know, I can actually pull this out. You know, when you screw your ATM, in, this will just go up down by itself. There is also, I can take this apart, there is a spring in between the two here, you know, which keeps that pin moving up and down. I know some people have been taking the spring out, but you know I'm I'm fine with it as it is, and it works for me, so uh, not an issue there with me at all. So that's it for the mod. You know, you just take your atty or your topper of choosing. I'll put my Hermes back on here because I'm enjoying the vape. Let's automatically push that out a little bit. Screw this on. No problem with the threads at all. Beautiful threading. Take the base off. Pop the battery in.
that's it. No rattle at all from the battery. That's me, good to go. It's a big beastie. <laughs> it's, uh, aside from it being a big beastie, what can I tell you? Now, the only other 26650 mod I have is the Vapor Giant. Now, I really like the Vapor Giant, and I like using the Vapor Giant with the atomizer that came with it. Vapor Giant's quality, uh, and it's, it feels very heavy, and it doesn't feel like, this might sound a bit naff, but it doesn't feel like an 18650 mod, it feels like a big chuffing mod, you know, it's huge. This, it, it just seems to fit in my hand like uh, an 18650 mod. It's It's got that, yes it's very big, but it doesn't feel like it's that big. Does that make sense? I'm probably not making sense. Um, I really like the switch with the magnets in it now. And those standard magnets are, they are a bit stiff, but... You know, I'm sliding my finger off that switch there, just pushing down, and it's firing every time. You know, I don't have a thing that I don't like about this, I'm completely honest. I, th there isn't a thing I don't like about it, aside from that on the bottom. It, it just, you know... Yes, I got this free for review. If I had paid for this, I would be upset with the quality at the bottom of the switch. You know, this engraving going on here. I would want that to be perfect. Uh, sorry, there's a seagull on the roof. Uh, aside from that, threading, 510 connector, the switch, the locking ring, the venting, the, the mechanical mod itself for me is 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 bloody. It's just perfect for me. I I love it. I really do like it. Um, some people may not be a fan of the overall size. It may not be for them, but I love taking this to work because I can vape in this the night before. I know when I get up in the morning, I don't have to go hunting for batteries and things like that. I can just grab this and head out and I know it's going to see me right through the day uh, and get me home at night and that for me is a big bonus I don't have to muck about with chargers and things when I'm out and about so I like that aspect of it and I think it's actually quite a nice looking device as well I th yeah that's it is there anything else I can tell you? did I tell you it's a big beastie? <laughs> That is it guys. Right, thank you to the lads as always at UK eSig store. I did get this free for review. Uh, once again, the only issue is the bottom of the engraving. Everything else, 10 out of 10. Cannot fault it aside from that. Thank you to you as always for watching. I am now going to go and get some dinner. Guys, we'll catch up with you soon. All the best. Cheers now. Bye.